What's up, Facebook, YouTube? I'm back. It's your girl, B. Felicia. Hot girl, B. I'm going to go ahead and do this uh, brew cocktail um, soap and mixed berry Kool-Aid with some coconut Ciroc. Y'all, I got all these Ciroc's on the cruise. I, the last cruise I went on, I cannot remember. I'm thinking they were like six for a hundred dollars, or five for a hundred dollars, something like that. But it was an excellent deal, so I bought that many of them. I hate they didn't have the green apple, but hopefully when I go on the next cruise, they had the green apple. Hell, I think I buy all of them green apple and then get another set of them, <laughs> cause uh, I'm enjoying these drinks. But um, if you didn't see the last video, you're going to need a spoon. I got a second spoon for tasting. I dip it on there and put it on here and taste. Um, you're going to need your, I'm going to do fruit cocktail. You're going to need a cup. Got my measuring cup. I use a mason jar. You can use a bowl or whatever. And again, my handy dandy throwback ice cream bucket with my sugar. And my scoop in there. And uh, um, this time I'm going to need a can opener. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, clean this top off. <clears throat> open up my can. <clears throat> go ahead and pour my... Uh, pull my juice out. This is some heavy syrup, so that it don't be that much juice coming out of this. You can add a little water in here if you like, but I'm just gonna do it with the um. With the alcohol, make sure I got enough juice. This is a <clears throat> the last can I used uh, was a twenty ounce can, and I did one thing of Kool Aid. Normally, I will open another pack and add a little extra in there. It, once it sits, if I feel like I need to add a little more Kool Aid in there, I probably will. But um, this is a twenty nine ounce jar, so I'm gonna do two packs of Kool Aid in it. Because <clears throat> I'm going to be making a drink with it. I'm not going to just eat the fruit. But, um, like I say, it's better when you put a little extra Kool-Aid instead of that one pack, depending on what size can. Think of it's like a 16-ounce can, one pack is enough. When it gets up to the 20, I was like that other one. I did it for the sake of the video, but I'm going to open the second pack and shake a little bit in there. So, like I say, y'all have to do it to your taste. I always, if somebody give me a recipe... I always tweak it most of the time because I do it to what I like. But anyway, take your juice off. You're going to get, um, since I'm doing, um, two things of Kool-Aid, I'm going to do, I'm going to start with a half a cup of sugar. I'm going to add my two packs of Kool-Aid, mixed berry. My big stirring spoon. I'm gonna start stirring in some of this juice enough to dissolve all this sugar and mix it up well. Make sure you get all those Kool Aid lumps out. All right, I'm pouring this into my mason jar. Pretty blue. And then I'm going to get... Oh, I got to open this one. New bottle here. Um... Same thing, I'm going to do a half. Well, now I'm going to do three-fourths cup on this one. Yeah, hook it up. 
because it, it it was um it was not as much juice. So instead of a half a cup, I'm gonna do three fourth cups of the syrup coconut. And I pour it in the cup with where the uh, sugar and Kool Aid was, so I can kind of get all of it out of the out of the cup. Swish it around and pour it on in my mason jar. need some more sugar um what did I put I need a half a cup so I'm gonna do another fourth cup so that'll be three fourth cup of uh, sugar let's stay this in my sugar on stick in here because I don't with this cup Shake it, shake it, shake it. This is strong stuff here. Mm-mm. All right. Get these fruit in here. won't fit in this one jar so you'll have to um pour it i still probably got a cup full of fruit and what i'll do is just put those in a little side bowl because i don't want to mess up two mason jars and once i get this sugar up real good i'll um, shake it up real good all that sugar you see how the sugar settles on the bottom you got to shake it and try the sugar dissolve that's how the kool-aid pickles do too but you just got to shake it up and once i get it um all of it dissolved real good i will pour some this is about how much was left in the can i will pour pour the rest of it um pour some of the juice off of there and put it in here Or you can just save these on the side. That'll be a good idea. That's what I'll do. Put these in a container. And then when I make my drink, I will blend this and then just add some of these. That's what I'll do. So I'm not going to pour, pour none of this off of here. But shake it up real good. Try this again. That's good with that coconut. I may add a little more sugar to that because I still have like a little twang to it. So that's, like I say, y'all, to taste, to taste, to taste. But basically, that's how it's done. Everybody been asking me what I do, how I do them. So I wanted to actually do a video instead of just uh, typing it up and telling you. So now you see, there it is. Shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. I don't want to add no more sugar yet until all this get dissolved in there good because it'll end up being too sweet. But that's it. Hope this helped. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Hot Girl Feed, Felicia Scroggins. And um, share the video. Thumbs up the video. Like the video on Facebook. Like I said, I don't mind y'all sharing no videos I post. Thank y'all for watching. Hopefully this helps somebody. Have a good day, smooches.